Fred here and I welcome you to the Aris Edu Consult channel. Today, another good news. Yes, the College of Education admissions for 2023-2024 academic year has been released. Yes, so applications are invited for suitable qualified applicants for admission into the new four-year Bachelor of Education degree program in the 46 public colleges of education in Ghana for the 2023-2024 academic year. So the 46 public training colleges has released their form. So let's go and read more on this publication. We begin with the admission requirements. So for WASI and SSSC applicants, the general requirement for admission to the four-year Bachelor of Education program is as follow. So, initially, the colleges used to run a three-year diploma program, but currently, they do a four-year bachelor degree program. So, the admission requirement for the three years and the admission requirement for the four years is different now. So, let's look through the requirement for the four-year degree program. The general requirement for admission to the four-year Bachelor of Education program is as follow. WASI holders, credit passes, that is A1 to C6, in six subjects, comprising three core subjects, including English language and, math, and core mathematics and three elective subjects relevant to the course of study. So, you have to get six passes with core maths and English constant subjects and other one core subject that is between science and social studies and three passes in your electives. And the pass mark for the bachelor degree program is from A1 to C6. So in this case, when you have D7 in either English, mathematics, then you are not going to qualify to apply for the bachelor degree program. SSSC holders, credit passes, that is A to D in six subjects comprising three core subjects, including English language and core mathematics, and three elective subjects relevant to the course of study. So the same applies to SSAC applicants. For their pass mark ranges from A to D, and you have to pass English and mathematics before you can qualify to apply for the colleges of education. Candidates who are yet to either who are yet to write either 2023 WASI or NAP test examination can also apply. So awaiting applicants in the WASI and NAP test examination can also apply for the colleges of education. You skip the qualification for the B, C, and let's through, look through the D. That is the technical and vocational education and training applicants. So applicants must possess certificate two in three relevant trade areas award by technical education unit, MVTI, City and Girls and other authorized awarding bodies in addition to NAPTES Certificate 2, in lieu of passes in English and Mathematics. Have NAPTES Certificate 2 in relevant trade areas in addition to three credit passes in WASI core subjects, including English and Mathematics. Possesses a National Certificate to Qualification in Competency-Based Training in Relevant Trade Areas awarded by TEU on the National TVET Qualification Framework. 
so with applicants who have the technical and vocational education certificate they also have to pass english and mathematics before they can also qualify to apply for the training colleges you go to the f the bachelor of education programs currently offered in the colleges of education are as follow one bed early grade education two bed primary education three bed ghs education so in the previous years we used to have the early grade primary and the ghs you have to select between the electives that you want to do but currently you have to select bed ghs education that is if you want to do an elective subject let's say you want to do science visual arts home economics technical all those fall under ghs okay so note the ghs option provide applicants with the opportunity to specialize in a particular subject area to enable them teach at the ghs level for graduation the subjects include science agri science mathematics ict home economics music visual arts social studies geography history english Ghanaian language french etc so as i was explaining initially you used to select this subject areas for the ghs but currently you don't have the opportunity to select either science or greek mathematics ict but you select ghs but for you to do that you have to make sure that you have passes in your elective areas corresponding to this ghs subject So, Jean, entry requirement for special needs applicants. So, I, visual impaired. Study facilitates as available, are available at NJ Hamidia College of Education, WA, Wesley College of Education, Kumasi, Presbyterian College of Education, Ekropon. So, these three schools offer program for visually impaired applicants and their admission requirements are as follows so applicants with WASI results should have credit passes that is E1 to C6 in two core subjects including English language and social studies and three credit passes in relevant elective subjects so unlike the usual or regular applicants the visual impaired applicants do not have core mathematics as a constant subject to pass but in this case this is english language and social studies so for a visually impaired applicant to gain admission he or she must have credit passes that is e1 to c6 in english language and social studies and three elective subjects as well hearing impaired so study facil facilitate at are available at presbyterian college of education a group one so it is only this school that admits hearing impaired applicants and their admission requirements it's as follow applicant with wasi results should have past credits credits passes in a1 to c6 in three core subjects including english language and mathematics and credit pass in three elective subjects so unlike the visually impaired the hearing impaired applicants must have passes in English and mathematics in the core subject areas 
before he or she is qualified to apply for the colleges of education. So let's see the online application procedure. Applicants will first make a payment of 230 Ghana cities into the College of Education Ghana account at any branch of the following bank nationwide. Consolidated Bank, that is CBG Limited. Okay, so on this, the amount quoted is 230 cities, but at the bank, you will be made to pay 237 cities. So please take note of the application price additionally payments can also be made through mobile money wallets that is tigo cash vodafone cash etel money and mtn mobile money by dialing the short code star 924 star 8 hash from all network upon payment applicants will receive the following key information a personal identification number that is the pin an admission application serial number the application website is admission.coeportal.edu.gh so this is the website that you have to enter before you log in with your serial number and pin to access the admission portal Okay, so guidelines or note for the online application process. Applicants should use the PIN to visit the College of Education admission website, as I mentioned earlier, and follow specific guidelines to fill the online application form. Applicants are advised to read and ensure that they fully understand all relevant instructions, especially program offered in a particular college, before completing the application application form yeah so you have to make sure that you know the colleges and the program that they run so some school run primary and early grade and ghs some school also run only early grade and primary some school run only primary and ghs so you have to know the schools and the programs that they offer before you make your selection Applicants are to note that application form which are not properly completed will not be processed. So if you don't fill or complete the form or submit the form, you wouldn't be processed and therefore you are not going to gain admission. Applicants should select first, second and third choices of three colleges of education in order of preference for their program of study and must select one of the Ghanaian languages offered in a particular college. So, before you can make the selection, you have to select a Ghanaian language that the school offers. And you have the opportunity to select three different colleges in order of preference. So, let's say you want Holy Child first, or last second, and Commander third, or you want Commander first, Fosu second, Akokeri third. So in order of your preference, you make that selection. After completing the online application form, an applicant will need to print a copy, which should be sent with one passport photograph and a copy or copies of their resort slip where available by EMS priority envelope obtained from Ghana Post nationwide and addressed to the principal of the applicant's first college of choice. So after submitting it online, you have to print the form out and add your resource. So if you have one resource, you make a copy and add. If you have two resources, you make a copy and add. You're allowed to add up to three resources. Then you have to address it to your first choice college then you get the envelope from the Ghana Post Office nationwide. Applicants will be notified if the receipt of their application by SMS, that is text message, 
and should therefore provide correct and reliable mobile numbers when completing their application form online. So their mode of communication is SMS. So in completing the form, you have to make sure that you provide your phone number and a reliable phone number because when you gain admission, the only means for them to reach you is via SMS and you have to make sure that your contact use in the application process is correct so that you can be rich when you gain admission. Applicants will also receive admission offer notification by SMS and those who do not receive such notification may understand it to mean that their application were not successful. So as I earlier said, you get your admission notice via SMS. So if you don't get the admission notice, meaning you didn't gain admission or you didn't fill your form well. Applicants are to note that the colleges of education will cross-check their results from the West African Examination Council as part of the admission process. Applicants found to have submit fake or falsified documents in support of their application will be made to face the legal consequences of their actions. So on the admission portal, you'll be made to verify your results by inserting your index number. So if you insert a wrong index number to gain admission, later on it will be cross-checked and you'll be fined out and you will be made to face the legal consequences. In our next video, we will look at the list of colleges of education with their programs, specialism, and the public university to which each college is affiliated to. So every college has a school or university that they are affiliated to. So in our next video, we will look at these universities and the training colleges that are affiliated to. Lastly, the application deadline is Tuesday, October 31st, 2003. And for any information, please contact the Executive Secretary, PRINCO Secretary, PO Box MB47, Ministry Post Office, Accra. Then there is a phone number here that you can also reach to. That is plus 233 0554 832453 or plus 233 0500 9420. You can also email them on princof.sec at outlook.com. Thank you for your time and we'll bring you the next on this release that is the tertiary universities or the universities that these training colleges are affiliated to and the programs that each university offers. Thank you for your time and see you.